in previous tutorials uh, we completed like uh, encapsulation and polymorphism in this tutorial we'll see abstraction in abstraction again two concepts are there like uh, interface and abstract class first we'll understand what is abstraction what abstraction means hiding the complexity and only showing essential features of the object what does it mean one more uh, definition hiding implementation details and showing functionality to the user what does it mean you are using a mobile phone you know how to operate everything but internal what it is happening you don't know that is called abstraction how to achieve there are two ways we can achieve this abstraction like interface or abstract class if you want to achieve hundred percent abstraction you can go for interface if you want to achieve 50% abstraction not fully that means like uh, not fully abstraction then we can go for abstract class which provide incomplete functionality what does it mean interface means there is one interface we will take um, I take one example uh, everyone know the bank account everyone know bank a uh, number of banks HDFC bank ICIC bank will be there see interface means which defines an expected behavior without providing any details about the behavior what we need to do they will give some behavior you need to do like uh, signal is there they given a protocol as an interface as a red signal so that functionality who will do you when you are riding with a red signal you need to the stop so you you are providing the behavior they are not providing the behavior expected behavior they are telling so you need to do that one abstract class see? incomplete functionality they won't provide full of they will go off they won't give this is a, a abstract class you can do the subclass you need to do okay uh, if you know like a spring you know very well bean factory and application context are the interfaces in the spring application context has many implementation classes like class path xml application context web xml application context but so many classes will be there this is called interfaces abstraction means uh, like we can say like example mm, yeah when you see the project then you will understand uh, what I'm trying to say so abstraction we achieve by using interface and abstract class right uh, we'll go through an example first we'll go for interface I created a project abstract an example I take one interface as a bank if you observe a bank is an interface a rate of interest you know very well rate of interest is depend on the bank implementation classes what are the bank is an interface what are the implementation you know HDFC bank and ICIC bank two are the implementation classes right if you go for HDFC bank just of how to implement an interface you need to use implements keyword in order to implement implements I am PLMN implements keyword okay you need to override that method rate of interest so if I I won't remove if I remove this one it will so compare you need to provide hundred percent abstraction what are the methods are available in subclass you need to override if you click add unimplemented method so rate of interest I am providing as a six right this is one implementation class of bank interface interface we cannot create any object we can assign the reference if you say ICIC bank implements so rate of interest I want to provide rate of interest as 2 okay if you go for main method if you observe bank is what is interface right I created just a reference only for this reference I am creating the object of HDFC bank right I am creating ICIC bank click implementation see bank is an interface HDFC bank and ICIC bank are the implementation classes of the bank based on the bank rate of interest will be vary if you see see HDFC bank is a 6 and rate of interest will be a 2 this is interface 
same we can achieve using abstract class also then what's the difference as interface and abstract class means if anything common functionality is there for HDFC bank and ICIC bank apart from the rate of interest then we can go for the abstract class see I created same project some few modifications now this time I take class as a bank okay I created we need to provide abstract methods and non abstract methods both we can provide both can give abstract methods and concrete methods one more we cannot create object of bank but we can assign value we can assign reference okay um, here if you see get rate of interest is even abstract method if you remove this one it will throw exception see the method require a body instead of a semicolon so if you provide the abstract we need to win the declaration not the body okay mm. send sms notification for the every bank uh, if you are withdrawing the money you will get some sms notification this sms notification is the common job for every bank so this is a common functionality so sms into your mobile number just wrote some dummy method if you see some hdfc bank uh, i implemented same rate of interest and icic same if you provide the client if you observe here same with few modifications just i am calling sms this is the common method behavior anything is available we can define in abstract class okay see eight and three rate of interest is different sms into your mobile number this is the common behavior okay uh, if you use abstract class we can't extend multiple classes so that's why most probably they will use interface that is called interface up to java 1.7 it came to java 1.8 they came up with the new features in interface in interfaces method body we cannot give right so in java 8 they provided default method we can create and static method also we can create in the later tutorials i will give one example on interface uh, in the next tutorial now we'll tell one more oops concept is pending that is inheritance thank you guys please like and share to your friends don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you guys